Welcome back, Psych2Goers. Before we start, we just want to thank you all for the support. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin. We all have inner demons, whether it's problems with addiction, a traumatic experience, a fear of failure, or low self-esteem. We all deal with things that eat us from the inside out. But inner demons aren't vague forces of evil that cause you to do bad things. Rather, there are things you've been through that you have to sort out, process, and heal from. To face your demons means confronting your fears to become a better, stronger, and wiser person. Here are six signs you're battling with your inner demons. One, you feel like a dark cloud is looming over your head. Do you feel like every day is a mountain that you have to climb? Do you feel a sense of impending doom follows you around? If any of this sounds familiar, there is a possibility that your inner demon and depression are one and the same. Depression is a serious mental health disorder and can cause great strife in your life. Symptoms of depression include significant weight loss, weight gain, oversleeping, or the inability to sleep, fatigue, feelings of worthlessness or guilt, and loss of interest in your regular activities. Two, you always feel like something just isn't right. Are you constantly distracted with the feeling that something just isn't right? Do you always feel like something bad is about to happen? The second type of inner demon can also be called anxiety. Anxiety is another mental health problem and it affects about 18% of the US population each year. Similar to depression, anxiety can have serious negative effects on your quality of life. Anxiety can cause symptoms like nervousness and restlessness, rapid heart rate, hyperventilation, and feelings of danger, panic, or dread. Three, there's a nagging sense of shame behind all that you do. You often feel self-conscious or embarrassed. Are you struggling with feelings of self-hate? Shame is a fickle inner demon that can come from different places. Maybe you've done something wrong in your past and it's still sitting in your subconscious waiting to be rectified. Maybe you've been made to feel ashamed of who you are. You might struggle with voices in your head telling you that you aren't good enough or no one cares about what you have to say. Four, you're so afraid to fail that you don't even try. Have you ever been so afraid of failing at something that you decide not to even try? Does this fear of failure prevent you from moving forward in life? While the notion of failure is scary, it becomes more of an inner demon when the sense of fear seeps into every part of your life and cripples you. It can feel like your feet are stuck to the ground and you can't move, like you're frozen in place by fear. Number five, you feel like you have a bully inside your head. Do you ever call yourself stupid for making a mistake? Do you curse at your reflection in the mirror for not being attractive enough? This is called self-criticism and it's like having your very own personal bully living inside your head. Whenever you try something new, the bully taunts at you. When you think about taking a risk, the bully tells you that you'll probably fail. When it comes to relationships, the bully is quick to point out your flaws and weaknesses and all the reasons no one could ever really love you. But just because this particular inner demon is loud, doesn't mean that it's right. And number six, you feel painful emotions that others don't immediately understand. Do you find it hard to relate to your friends when you're going through something difficult? They might not see the pain that you're in or struggle to understand when you do tell them what you're feeling. The toxicity that lies within us is personal and subjective. And it's okay if those around you don't get what you're going through. If one person doesn't get it, there's a whole world of other people who have probably experienced what you're experiencing. The internet can be a great way to find connection and understanding and acceptance. You're not alone in this. We hope this video helped you recognize and understand your inner demons a little bit better. Acknowledging that there's an issue is a phenomenal first step and being brave enough to talk about it is a great second one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it helpful too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.